Please not Isengard once again. Please no Isengard and no Mordor. I want to play a good faction for the first time after a really long time. Please. Don't disappoint me. And I get to play the Gondor faction. Okay, I take this every day of the week. And because I'm so excited, I want to make a new challenge. I will try my best to win this game without losing a single battalion of a unit. Including the starting units. I will save them. And if I can do it, guys, which is of course very challenging... You guys need to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on this video, okay? I mean, it's a multiplayer PvP game in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. And when you, you know, when you can keep every battalion alive, I think I deserve a like, right? Okay, let's do this, boys. Let's do this. Oof, that's gonna be tough. I mean, we wall checked. It's an evil faction. I'm hoping for Isengard because against Mordor, it's gonna be kind of tough later on when there are gonna be trolls and fell bees and witch king on the field. But uh, we will we will see. I mean, I first of all like the matchup between good and evil the most in Battle for Middle Earth 1. It's just the most fun thing ever because it gives you literally the vibe of the trilogy and you get the chance to replay the films in the game. Okay, so what we can do now is we can use the Hobbit Peregrine Took, the full of a Took, to creep this Woglia. And we can also, I mean, the Oryx, they don't stand a chance, but again, we need to keep an eye that we don't lose a full battalion. There is a Gollum, look at this cutie. <laughs> okay, I mean, he's fighting, that's a mistake from him. You are soldiers of Gondor, whatever comes through the gate. I beat you, hold your ground. Okay, nice. I mean, you can't, basically, you can't fight a 1v1 or 2v2 situation against soldiers with, like, anything but Uruks. The Uruks can do that, but peasants and orcs, they can't, especially orcs, because they are for free. And when you need to fight this, you need to kind of use the eye, or you want to get the Gollum. Gollum is in a very bad spot. Without Gollum, it's very hard to defend, you know? Okay, I will go for the stable next. And again, the goal of this game is not only to win this game but to keep every single battalion alive. That is the goal of the day, of the game. I'm gonna use heal actually. Nice. So our units are gonna hit both level two very, very soon. And again, he brings one orc and using Eye of Sauron, that's not gonna do too much because Eye doesn't give you armor, it gives you only damage. But your damage is meaningless if my two soldier battalion can kill you way faster before, can, before you get the chance to damage them. And also remember the soldiers, uh, just like the Uruks from the Isengard faction have the shield ball formation that makes them way tankier. Come on, level 2? Almost level 2. And that's a mistake. When you find yourself in a situation like that as Mordor against Gondor, you want to make sure to not send your orcs one by one. Because then your overwhelming or your quantity advantage is gone. Okay, nice guys. Both of them are almost level 2. Come on. One more hit and then we would be level 2, but it's okay. I'm not gonna try to creep, I'm gonna try to destroy this Lamy Mill. I mean, I believe the Mortor's eco is not the greatest. I don't know how he was, how fa fast he was able to build the bees with two Lamy Mills. And that's your goal early game with Mordor. With two Lamy Mills, you get the wood bonus, and you wanna use this moment of cheaper buildings to fill up your bees ASAP. And Pedigree took showing his quality. We can now creep this. So the way you wanna creep this is you wanna, you know, ideally you wanna lure them one by one. Or you want to get them out of the lair so your units are not going to be stuck because you want to make sure that every single Gondonite from the battalion is able to attack at the same time. Okay. I mean, again, the goal is not to not only lose any battalion of units but also not the heroes. So we got to keep heroes alive and we will recruit every single one of them. We will recruit Faramir and also Boromir as well as when the game goes that long. Gandalf the Grey into the Gandalf the White. Okay. Nice. Peeping. I mean, when you have such a start against Mordor, <laughs> it's just like, you know, it's like Christmas time, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like the nightmare situation for Mordor, though. Because look what we are able to do. We are able to get every single creep Mordor can contest. Our soldiers are very strong. And again, our goal is to not even lose them. So I will end up giving them also the Forge Blades and Heavy Armor. Oh, but my, I forgot to fill up my beast. I was cash floating a lot, actually. Oh, it's fine, though. Come on, men. We have them. Okay, so hopefully he won't, he won't have any trolls anytime soon, because then I can just end the game with the soldiers. Nice 
And that's the thing what people don't understand. You know, Mordor is a very powerful powerful faction in the mid to lead game. But if you play the Mordor early game a little bit risky, and especially Gollum, I mean, Gollum has been doing nothing all game long besides being behind my castle and scouting. And Gollum is actually surprisingly tanky and dealing great amount of damage. And most importantly, he's faster than soldiers and peasants. And for that reason, you need to use him early game to pressure, to buy some time. And then you want to fight against soldiers when you have like four orcs, you know, not two. I'm going to use heal. Should be in a good spot. Let's creep this. And yeah, beautiful. We can creep everything. I mean, we have literally taken every single creep from the map Forts of Eisen, which is like the ideal world. Because we have almost the power points for the rangers too. In the worst case scenario, you know, when I'm... Oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh my goodness. I got a heart attack, dude. Again, I'm, you know, loyal to my challenges. And I said, I'm not going to lose any battalion. So I need to hide those soldiers. And hopefully the troll won't be able to recognize where they are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we need to recruit Farami and Boromir. Farami first. Because our soldiers, even with heavy armor, they don't stand a chance against the mighty troll, you know. But Farami and Boromir combination, the brothers and the captains of Gondor, they can definitely handle one, two trolls by themselves. Especially Boromir, if you don't know, is a great counter to mountain trolls. Because he's able to knock them down, yeah. If they get a chance to hit you and they knock you down, they can kill you quite fast. Because trolls are something else in this game. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how strong they are. Because they don't get the chance to hit you. Boromir can knock them down permanently on the ground. And Faramir, his brother, younger brother can finally try to show his quality and make his daddy proud. Let's use Warning Arrow. I mean, they are faster trolls. You cannot fight this. I mean, when I chunk you like that, trolls, you need either many trolls or you need them with leadership. Like, the Warning Arrow, as you can see, chunking them because they have no leadership. Oh, they want to commit. Don't, 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 don't kill my soldiers. Okay. But don't touch the younger brother because the big brother is coming. <laughs> my heal is on cooldown. I gotta be careful, though. The big brother. Oh, they are actually flip-flopping my Faramir. You can. You shall not pass. The great company. And the reason I'm chunking the other troll is because if the trolls have trees in their hands and they are level 1, they cannot recover. So in order to eat an orc, you need to have no weapons. You cannot eat orcs when you have like three in your hands or when you are using rocks. Okay. So the plan is to put Boromir next... Uh oh he's coming. But it's almost dark this troll. What are you doing, man? Okay. We cannot lose a battalion, though. That's the plan, right? So we gotta keep an eye on the on the health of the units. And next hero is gonna be Gandalf. We are almost there. I mean, we have, like, legit full map control, bro. Come on now. Like, this is the power of the White City. Okay. We gotta keep an eye on Boromir's health too. Again, not only about the units, but I mean, the summons are, they don't count because the summons, they, I mean, I'm not losing them either, but they wouldn't count anyway, even though I didn't lose them because they are gonna be gone anyway, right? They, they are like only there for a short duration. I'm gonna chunk him. Boromir knock him down on the ground. We have almost healed from the spell book, almost. I'm gonna just group them all together. Oh, dude, I'm playing with fire. Maybe I shouldn't do that actually. Okay, Boromir, Boromir level five, it's dope. And make sure that Mordor has no money, you know. Make sure Mordor is suffering. I'm, it's so risky what I'm doing. I'm cash floating so much too. Gandalf coming up next. Gandalf the Grey. And we might need to recruit one more Gondor Knight for a stable level 3. Because, uh, 2. Because with the level 2 stable, we will get the chance to, you know, purchase the shields. The Knight Shields. Which increases the durability of our Gondor Knights. Against Arrow especially. You know, in this case from the towers. A lot. Okay, I'm just gonna bail now. I don't wanna risk it. Because one of the soldier battalions is actually quite dead. But you see um, how rewarding it is if you can keep them protected like that. But even though I'm saying I won't lose any battalions, but I'm still not playing carefully, you know what I mean? I'm a man. I'm not gonna not use them. I'm not gonna send all my units back to the fortress and play with my heroes exclusively. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually rush him very, very soon. Okay, nice. So, get on your shadow facts, Mr. Gandalf. And guys, quick question to you. Um, the Rings of Power is going now for a long time. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> what do you guys think about Rings of Power? Please let me know in the comment section down below. 
I mean, for me personally, it's a little bit disappointing, uh, especially because it has the name Lord of the Rings on it. And let's be real, nothing comes close. I mean, I don't want to be too pessimistic about it. Um, it's very good for the Amazon series, but in compared to Lord of the Rings trilogy or the high expectations they were creating by making announcement like that's going to be the most expensive series of all time, it's a little bit disappointing, in my opinion. I was expecting a bit more, but yeah, you know, maybe you guys disagree with me. And if you do, or if you don't, let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me, do you like it or do you hate it? Or do you see it the way I'm seeing it? You watch it, but you are not really, really satisfied. GG Wap, please. Be ready. Boromir, please don't die. Just quit the game. Okay, Boromir is going to be safe. That was actually close. I was kind of getting lost in the film. And blast the drummer troll. GG Wap, please, guys. Challenge accomplished. Do your part now. Make sure to leave a like on this video. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.